I'm back, CES 2019 is finally over and I saw a ton of laptops. And I wanna talk about what this year is gonna look like. Some of the upcoming laptops in 2019 that are worth a look and that you guys should be waiting for. Now before I begin, I just wanna talk about the Dell Area 51M. This got a lot of coverage and a lot of hype. Let's be honest, this is not the first time a fully upgradable laptop has been done before. There are tons of third party manufacturers that currently do it right now, but it is nice to see a mainstream manufacturer incorporate this idea. Essentially what you can do is you can buy this thing and pretty much upgrade everything inside of it. The cool thing though is the CPU. You're not getting your typical H-series laptop CPU. You can place a full K-series CPU inside of here. So essentially you can spec with an 8700 all the way up to the 9900K. Now the other thing, they're saying everything is upgradable and they're absolutely right because technically it is, but the GPU is kind of in the gray area. Right now the GPU socket is using the Dell form factor and if you swap it out down the road, it needs to have the next GPU support that form factor and we're really unclear right now whether or not AMD and Nvidia are gonna jump on board. Now since I talked about the Area 51M, I just wanna give a quick mention to the ROG mothership. Look, another cool concept, it's not gonna sell a lot and I doubt they'll probably even put this on the market. But if I had to choose between the two, I'd still lean towards the 51M. The ROG mothership is pretty much a heavier desktop replacement. You're still getting pretty good performance, but you are using laptop parts. So essentially you're getting an H series processor instead of a full desktop one like you do in the 51M. Plus the ROG mothership is over 10 pounds. The Dell area 51M is only 8.5. Now third up is the MSI GS75. I love the GS65 from last year. The 75 is the 17 inch version of that and what you're getting is pretty much a very powerful, thin, portable laptop. You can place up to three M2 drives in here, essentially creating a RAID 0 and having super fast performance. Combine this with the brand new RTX 2060 or 2070 in a thin form factor, this could be one of the 17 inch laptops to beat. So next is the Razer Blade 15. In terms of design, not much has changed, but the cool things about it is they increase the chassis size by 0.2 inches. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're cooling a system, every millimeter counts. So I'm expecting a much cooler performer. You combine that with the lower TDP on the RTX line, plus the bigger chassis, which most people won't notice, we should get better cooling. Plus finally, this is an expensive laptop. We're finally getting Windows Hello. This should have been there last year, but we're getting it in the camera, which means you can use facial recognition to quickly log into the computer. Now the big thing why I'm talking about the Razer Blade considering there's just like a minor updates is because I saw an OLED version of this. If Razer can pull this off with a high refresh rate without any screen burn-in, I think this could be one of the best laptops of 2019. A lot of people were kind of upset that there was no brand new Dell XPS 15 announced at CES 2019, but I honestly think they're gonna announce it this year. I think it's gonna come out in the fall time. We're gonna see a slightly revamped design, maybe a little bit thinner with much better cooling. I mean, let's face it, the XPS 15 has been a fan favorite for a long time, but the design is still and the cooling is weak. I wanna see a brand new XPS 15 with better internals and of course with better cooling. I'm expecting them to come out with the latest Intel processor sometime in the fall with an RTX 2060. Now, Lenovo came out with some pretty great products. They updated the Lenovo Legion Y series, the 540, the 740, and they all look fantastic, but they're just updates. But I wanna talk about the Lenovo S940. I'm, I don't know why I'm holding the C930, but the S940 is something special. It, you're pretty much buying it for the look of it. This laptop has pretty much a bezel-less display. The glass on the panel pretty much contours into the lid, giving it a very unique design. And Lenovo was able to do this without using your typical notch. Now it still does have a notch, but instead of being inverted inwards, it's a reverse notch. So it's sticking out at the top, giving you a webcam instead of placing it on the keyboard or on the bottom, staring up your nose. Chromebooks don't usually get a ton of coverage on this channel, but one of them stuck out to me at CS 2019. That was the Asus Chromebook Flip C434. This thing was a premium mid-range priced Chromebook. I don't have the exact price, but I'm expecting it to be mid-range. Usually when you buy a Chromebook, you're stuck buying this big clunker for like really low prices, or you have to go out and spend tons of money on a Pixel device, which is ridiculous for a Chromebook. The C434 just looked great. You still get the versatility of a convertible. You're getting this in a 3.3 pound form factor, a 14 inch display, which has very small bezels, very comfortable keyboard to type on, and all the ports you need to get your work done. Asus also introduced a business laptop aimed at professionals who need something that's portable, light, but with a lot of performance. This thing's not gonna be cheap. The Asus Studio S is gonna be expensive, but 
you do get a 17 inch laptop and a 15 inch form factor. The best part about it is you can spec it all the way up to a Xeon processor, put 64 gigabytes of RAM, use ECC memory if your environment needs it. This is a great laptop for professionals who do 3D work, VR content, or anything that can take advantage of a quadro card. Even the quadro card inside of here is the P3200. It's one of the more powerful quadro cards, which means it's pretty equivalent to a GTX 1060. I just like the way this thing looks, the way it feels, the keyboard's comfortable, and even the touchpad has a few key features. And finally, we have the Acer Triton 500. This thing looks absolutely awesome. Acer created a beautiful premium product, and I think it's a better deal than the Triton 900, which is kind of gimmicky with its rotatable screen and very heavy form factor. The 500 is just nice and clean. It's all metal, it's premium, you have an RTX 2080 inside of here, you have G-Sync, so you have everything to game with maximum performance. And they did this by creating the laptop at around 4.6 pounds, so it's not any heavier than most of the 15 inch laptops that came out last year. So that wraps up this little video about some of my favorite laptops coming out in 2019. There's a lot of updates coming out to previous laptops that are also very attractive, but I think 2019 is gonna be a great year, and I think we're gonna see a resurgence in 17 inch laptops because a lot of these companies are making them the same size as last year's 15 inch laptops. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.